Okay, hi guys. Um, so today, as you can see, we're doing a review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Megazord. Uh, see if I can get the box in frame. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the box is actually very reminiscent of the original 1993 box, complete with the picture of the uh, Megazord's top half, as well as all five dinosaurs. Um, on the back, a better picture with a full version of him plus tank mode. Um, okay, I guess camera angle kind of sucks, but uh, not really many people care about the box anyway. Um, on the side, there's Armored Red Ranger as well as basically the story of the show. And on the other side, a look at the Megazord's um, technical data. Okay. So we'll just put that down there. So here we have all five dinosaurs. Um, starting with the Tyrannosaurus, Saber to Tiger, um, Triceratops, Pterodactyl, and Mastodon. Um, one thing <coughs> that um, I should probably mention is that these are pretty much the same molds as the uh, 2010 version of the Megazord, which I did not get. However, they did decide to kind of make some additions, material-wise, mainly the fact that it's mostly die-cast. Or not mostly, but quite a bit die-cast. Um, Unfortunately, we'll start with the pterodactyl. Unfortunately, the pterodactyl kind of got gypped because the only part that's die cast is her head, and the only part that's actually pink is a stripe on her little nose and the size of her head. That's it. Uh, now, as a kid, I always wondered what the hell was on the top of the pterodactyl because you never really saw it from the top or at least saw it that well. Unfortunately, all it is is basically one big gray scoop. Yeah. Um, the cannons actually are used as legs to get her to stand. Um, all in all, not too bad. Uh, I just wish they would have been able to do a little bit more, but I could see why they couldn't because of the way the thing transforms. Um, they also decided to use some metallic paint. I don't know if you can see that, but the front part is very, very shiny. And I'm not talking about the sticker. Um, another thing I should probably mention is the fact that a lot of the stickers you do have to do yourself. And being the fact that I suck at stickers, um, some of them aren't quite on there. Like, for instance, that one down here is a little bit off, not too noticeable. Um, okay, we'll put her aside. Next we'll do the Mastodon. Um, I'm sorry. The uh, die cast is basically just the arm joints right there, if you can see it. All in all, this thing is quite heavy, like amazingly heavy. Um, the front part is the shield, in case you're wondering. Um, <coughs> the trunk does not move. These feet do not move, and the only reason why these feet kind of move are, again, because of the way it transforms. But not all bad. Next we'll do Sabertooth Tiger. Unfortunately, I did kind of screw up on the deco on this one. This one. I accidentally put it on backwards. <laughs> um, the die cast is basically just the tail. The tail can flip up, like kind of like a little cannon. Kind of cool. The, the uh, teeth move, which is neat. Um, and another neat thing is you can kind of basically fold it into like a battle mode. I don't think they've ever did this on the show, but basically, like, uh, it does not roll. By the way, I don't know if the uh, the 2010 version rolled, but this one does not roll. All the uh, wheels are molded on. They do not spin. They don't do anything. The only reason why this one turns is because it's part of the arm joint. Yeah. 
Next we have the Triceratops. Once again, the only bit of diecast is in the tail. Um, and yeah, you can fold it up and that's about it. And I have to apologize once again for my cat, but don't worry, I have a little bit of payback coming for her. Uh, again, there are no wheels on this, despite the fact that there are some molded bits on there. I don't know why they did that. They could have just shaved those off and had the treads if they weren't planning on having wheels. Um, some of the stickers are kind of coming up a bit, I know it's. These parts right here, they are just PVC or basically bendy plastic. Um, so that's the Triceratops. Now we'll get to everyone's favorite. The Tyrannosaurus. This guy's pretty big. Um, the die cast in him is basically his feet or his legs. His feet are plastic. Okay, so just his thighs are die cast. But other than that, he does have some really nice paint, some really nice stickers. His mouth opens, and on the inside, there are sort of like turrets. Uh, one thing you can do is you can kind of make a really weird looking kind of robot, which I will show later on. But, um, and in case everyone's wondering, this is the Tyrannosaurus. This is the Dragon Sword. Yeah. In the show, they're supposed to be about the same size. Yeah, he would kill him. But he will be coming out in a bit. Okay, so tank mode. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. First, we have to collapse him down, move his teeth up like so, fold his back legs up to make wheels, fold the tail in. Uh, same with this guy, just Fold the tail up. Now, we fold this guy's feet down. There are connection points, and he, he is compatible with Hull's Word Builder series, which is nice. Uh, when I start reviewing more of those, I will bring this guy in and uh, show you what you can do. Um, okay. So we plant the Triceratops in here. Here we go. Tiger right there. And, um, okay. Yeah, I have him like that. Then we take the mastodon, tear his head off, um, fold the arms. On the back of the Tyrannosaurus, there is two connector points right there for the connection points right here. Oh, I should also probably mention that, um, like I said, this is compatible to the Zord build series, so his arms come right off, like that. So if you wanted to, say, put his arms on the uh, Samurai Megazord, you could. If you want to do it to the um, uh, Super Megaforce Megazord, you could. Now, to attach, we just put these here, like so. And then, last part, the pterodactyl. Pop the feet off. Connect the main body right here. Connect the cannons right here. Oh. Right here and right here. And last but not least, the Macedon shield. There is a little clip right here and a little hole in the uh, Tyrannosaurus test. I will show you. You basically just pop that on there. And it doesn't really look quite right, but it uh, looks functional. And this is the Megazord in tank mode. Um, if you want to start with this and then just move right to the transformation to uh, Megazord mode, you can. 
personally, I just kind of do with whatever. Yeah. Now we will get to Megazord mode. Okay. First, we pop the pterod uh, pterodactyl off, set her aside, pop the cannons off. Next zero. Put the cannons in the Mastodon's feet right here and right here. And then pop off the Mastodon shield, fold the Tyrann uh, ter Tyrannosaurus tail up, and then basically straighten him out like so. Fold the arms down, fold the Mastodon legs in to make the fists. Fold those up to make the shoulders, and then fold those in, open that, fold his head down, and then you can maybe imagine that little annoying uh, computer voice saying Megazord sequence has been initiated. Okay, for the pterodactyl, take her head, fold it down into the body, fold the wings into the body, and then attach there, on the chest, and then last but not least, actually yeah, last and least, fold the horns out and there you have a really nice looking version of Daijujin or the Dino Megazord, whatever you want to call it. Personally, I am a Zhuo Ranger fan, so what do you think I went with? Um, now the shield is again a shield. Um, Basically, just pop that in there. Oh, geez. oh damn it! Okay. And then the sword, the power sword, is a bit pointier than what you would expect for a something that was originally supposed to be a children's toy. And there. Uh, quite nice and shiny. Now. I have been waiting for this guy to come out for a very, very, very long time. Mainly because uh, in 93, the one toy I wanted more than anything in the world was the Dino Megazord. And I kind of got the Dino Megazord, but not the big one that makes, that is all five of them. It's the uh, cheapo version that basically has like the uh, torso, arms, and head as one part, and then two cheap looking pop-off versions of, uh, of uh, the Triceratops and the Sabertooth Tiger. They don't transform fully, all you do is just pull the head down. Sorry, that's about it. Uh, and then of course two fists that fire off. I later actually found out that that was also an import, but um, I have no idea where it is. I would kind of like to find it now, being that I have this guy. Um, Price-wise, this guy cost me about 70 bucks. Um, not exactly a rip-off. Actually, it was considering something that I've been wanting to own for a long time. And the amount of die cast in him, because this sucker is just heavy. Uh, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. Um, in case you are wondering, size comparison to Dragonzord, they are about the same size. Maybe Megazord's a bit taller than Dragonzord. I... yeah. Anyway, so that is my review of the Dino Megazord, and my little story about how much I've been wanting this guy all my life, even, even after I found the, uh, Thunder Megazord, um, which was my first Megazord, I st was still wanting this guy. I didn't realize then that basically these things rotate, and as soon as they're out of rotation, they're out for good. I went in with my birthday money trying to buy this guy, and I ended up buying the Red Dragon Zord and the uh, Thunder Zord Assault Team. Um, yeah. Pretty awesome, especially now that I have the dragons on. 
Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Goodbye.